guys so I just finished my first week of plastic surgery and just wanted to fill you guys in on some of the things that we get to do as interns and residents um, in the plastic surgery rotation um, it's definitely been much more exciting to me personally than my emergency medicine rotation just because I'm more interested in a surgical subspecialty obviously and there's actually a lot of overlap between plastic surgery and ENT so it's definitely been a lot more fun um, even though I feel like I am working a lot more on this rotation I would say averaging about 60 hours a week um, if not a little bit more but it's been a really fun time and I've been able to get in the OR and assist on a few surgeries even be like the first assist on a few cases and so that's been really really enjoyable so I guess just starting off I want to talk about what are some of the things that we are doing as an intern so typically in the mornings we get there very very early um, about 5 15 to 5 30 is when I will arrive to the hospital and this is to prep the list which means that we are chart checking the patients on our list we are looking at their vitals their labs the notes from the nurses or anyone on the care team and just getting an update of like what happens over the last 24 hours for these patients and then we will write all this down or we will take note of it and then once our upper level residents come in at six o'clock we will go over the list and then we'll go see everybody so we'll walk around and see all the patients which is what we call rounding so then we'll run the list which just means that we will kind of like go over the to-do list for the patients um, so this could be anything from calling radiology to see what the read is on a scan or maybe to follow up with respiratory therapy to see if you know this intervention is being done so there are so many things that could possibly be done and this is something that we call floor work and usually this is on the responsibilities of the lower level residents or the interns to do um, and then also the medical students can help us out with that too so then we will do all the floor work and then we will write notes so we have to write notes for all of the patients that we see and I love the way that surgical services write their notes because it is a very short and it's very concise and it takes about five minutes tops to do so it's very different than writing a full H&P that we do in the ED we just write a very simple progress note we just talk about any events that happened overnight how the patient is doing um, and then we just go over our plan and our assessment for the patient so it doesn't take that long and then once we write all our notes do floor work we can go to the OR so as interns we kind of get to choose what we want to do um, and what cases we want to go into which is really nice um, so on my service right now we have a ENT intern which is me and then we have an orthopedic surgery intern so we kind of divide up the cases and at my rotation right now we actually get a lot of like face cases so facial trauma um, and then like plastic surgery of the head and neck and then we also get a lot of hand surgery so the ortho intern will usually go to the hand cases and then I will go to like the head and neck cases and then of course there are a lot of things that are in between so we have a lot of like breast surgery this week we had a patient who had dehiscence of her abdominal wound after a deep flap so that was a case that I got to go into and was able to help sutures and then on Fridays one of the attendings that we work with does head and neck facial plastics um, so we had a few patients who um, had facial fractures secondary to trauma and um, that we were able to operate on them and it was actually really cool to be able to see them as a consult in the ED and then we got to take them to surgery on Friday and then we'll follow up with them in clinic next week so it's really cool to see the continuity of care so overall I would say it's been a really really great surgical opportunity um, just to be able to get in the OR again so once the surgeries are over for the day sometimes they will go on till five o'clock sometimes they'll end at one o'clock it just really depends what is scheduled but if it is done early what we'll do is we'll go into clinic so in clinic we see patients and then we present it to the attending and then we just write notes on these patients and sometimes we will consent them for surgery so those are some of the things that we're doing in clinic and then after that sometimes we'll have afternoon rounds so we'll kind of just run the list and then just wrap up the day talking about some of the things that we need to get done for tomorrow or that needs to be done by the end of the day before we leave. So that is pretty much my day in a nutshell. It is very different every day. It is very variable. Um, some days we don't have surgeries at all and then we'll just go to clinic. But I would say overall I've been really enjoying this rotation just because 
one i get a lot of autonomy so i think that the residents really allow me to kind of act like a second year resident where i'm able to just do a lot of the things on my own um even my first day there i was able to see a patient in clinic on my own and i feel like i was really like their primary physician um and then i was able to present this to the attending and then write inside my note so this is really in contrast to the ed where i always felt like there was someone watching over me someone hovering over me um which makes sense because it is the ed and you really don't want to miss anything um but i feel like this autonomy that i get um as a plastic surgery resident um really allows me to grow as a doctor and to really take ownership of my patients um so i've been really enjoying that and then i've also really stepped into the role of working with sub eyes or acting interns and just being able to evaluate their work and give them feedback and also to teach so that has been very exciting to be able to do as well so that is a recap of my week i hope that you guys enjoyed this video make sure that you subscribe to my channel and follow me at lillian medicine and i will see you guys next time